Hello again, watch friends. Welcome back. I'm a watch guy. And if you're watching this, you too are probably a watch guy. Guy being generic for male or female. But as you probably know, most watch guys are, well, guys. That means we often frequent websites, Facebook groups, YouTube channels, etc. All related to watches. And one thing we all like to do is share our passion for watches by sharing pictures of our watches. I'm interested in almost all watches, regardless of price, brand, country of origin, and the like. So when someone posts a picture or two of their latest favorite best watch, I like to look at it, often to learn more about it or sometimes just for the sheer enjoyment of seeing a nice watch and one that someone is proud of. To me, nothing is worse in this situation than seeing blurry pictures. Or if the pictures are sharp, the watch is too far away to distinguish it and get the full Monty on the design. You want your watch friends to see your watch. Linger on the pics, contemplate why they should or should not maybe own one. The key word here is see. So here are a few tips on how to best share your watch with others while at the same time increasing the enjoyment for those with whom you are sharing. It probably needs no mention, but you know as well as I do that pictures of blurry objects, whether watches or anything else, are not going to be looked at. Blurry picture? Move on. Nothing to see here. Literally. So, if you want to share a picture of your watch, take a nice, sharp picture. You don't need fancy equipment to do this. Your mobile phone will suffice. Just make it a picture that someone would actually want to look at. And don't forget, most mobile phones have pretty good cameras and you can do some basic editing of the photo right in the camera. Here is a pic of one of my watches just as I took it with my now old iPhone 6S. Here is the same pic but with some adjustments to exposure and contrast. Rhetorically, which is the more dramatic photo? Which one makes you most interested in wanting to see and know more about this watch? The answer is obvious, and it took me all of 30 seconds to improve the photo. You can do this too. So why wouldn't you? It's great to have a sharp, in-focus picture of your very cool watch. But if it's too small to make out the details, then you're wasting your time and mine. If you want to do an overall shot, fine. But also do at least one close-up of the dial. We want to see the hands, the texture of the dial, the brand marquee, and other writing on the dial. We want to see the date window, if it has one, whether or not we like them. I won't go down that rabbit hole. So, do one or more close-ups. Show off how really neat your watch is, and be sure to take a pic of the back, regardless of whether it has a solid or display back. We want to know as much about your pride and joy as you want to share with us. If you need to have multiple pics to show the dial, lugs, case, crown, finishing, back, strap, or anything else, take the multiple pictures and post them. Maybe even get creative. Try a different angle or an extreme close-up. And you don't always have to show the entire dial. Be artistic.
Sometimes it's fun to do a short video where you do a roll. That is, with the watch on your wrist, start with the dial so that the watch brand and maybe even the model are easily identified. Then slowly roll your wrist away from the camera to show off the case, lug, strap, etc. If you want, you can end it there or slowly bring it back to the dial with a close-up. Or maybe start with the clasp and roll around to the dial. This builds interest and adds anticipation until you do the reveal. Very simple, but very effective. Whether or not you do it with a stunning or exotic background, say the Eiffel Tower or the like, the point is to do it in a quality way so the viewer can get the feel of the watch. It's very effective when done well. I know you've seen these, both good ones and not so good. The ineffective ones go too fast, or they start with the dial being unreadable, or perhaps a bunch of other sins. What's best about the slow roll is that, again, you can use your mobile phone to do it. Just put the phone in video mode, shoot the video, don't make it too long, and then upload directly to a website or a Facebook group. Got it? I think this is optional, but it's often helpful when there are similar models from a brand and the viewer wants to dig deeper on their own to learn more about your watch. The brand reference number is often sufficient. Maybe you can also provide a nickname. For example, the popular green dial Seiko SARB 017, that's the reference number, but it's often referred to by its nickname the Alpinist. Provide the viewer with enough info so they don't have to ask you additional questions that could have been avoided if you simply provided that information up front. By the way, you don't need to provide price information unless you want to share what a great deal you got or where you obtained it from. This is about sharing your watches, not sharing how much you can afford or how much you spend on watches. So that's it. Just a few simple suggestions to help you show off your cool watches. I look forward to seeing them. I'm Art Landberger, and this is my channel. Please subscribe to be alerted of new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.